With the Series 2 now being pulled out of Apple stores, we are now left with two options when it comes to purchasing a new Apple Watch. That is the Series 3 and the Series 4. And with a price difference of 120 or even seeing a savings of 170 since the Series 3 has been going on sale constantly now. So are you better off going with the Series 3 or going all out and grab the Series 4? Let's go ahead and find out in this in-depth look between the two different Apple Watches. So first things first that stands out is obviously the display. The Series 4 now has a new 44mm size option. And yes, you can still opt for a smaller size and that is the 40mm size. And then on the left side we have the 42mm Series 3, which you could also grab in a smaller size of 38 but both of these Apple Watches are the large size options. So side to side, the display from the Series 4 has a much better body to screen ratio, which makes viewing and reading your messages off your wrist a lot more easy. And then if we place both watches in direct sunlight, however, both are still very visible. As Apple specify, both the Series 4 and the Series 3 are still 1000 nits brightness. Just the only thing I want to mention is under normal usage, I do notice that on the Series 4, colors tend to pop out a little bit more on its OLED display. So both watches are running the latest watchOS 5 and both offer a LTE version for an additional $100 US. So if you need a cellular connection, these two watches have that option. Just remember there's always additional fees for your service cellular provider. But if you don't opt for that option, you still have GPS to get you connected. So it's perfect for outdoor runs. If you just want to run and leave your phone behind, you could do so. But if you're running without the watch, they both can simply connect to your AirPods, allow you to listen to music, and they both have internal storage. Just the Series 3 on the other hand, that one still has 8GB of internal storage, while the new Series 4 is now equipped with 16GB of storage. This is great for storing your music library, your playlists, even photos. But I gotta be honest with you, uh, 16 gigs is kinda overkill, it's cool, I'm not complaining. But the most I personally had ever used is close to 6 gigs. So 8 gigs, it's still really doable. Both of these watches still have the main common sensors such as accelerometer, gyroscope, and more. The only thing with the Series 4, it has been enhanced. For instance, exclusively for the Series 4, it's able to detect if you had a serious fall and will contact emergency dispatchers if you're unconscious and you're unable to move. This is only something that's available on the Series 4 thanks to its new enhanced hardware. It could quickly detect all these things. But when it comes to the watchOS experience, both are able to satisfy. Race for Speak works on both devices just fine and under daily use, expect both of them to easily achieve two days of battery life. And if whatever said reason you have to swim with your watch on, you'll be glad to know they're both still rated at 50 meters water resistant. But now when it comes to the performance speed aspect of things, with the Series 4 now being equipped with Apple's new S4 chip, just turn on the two watches side by side as I have it plugged into a power bank that will automatically turn on both of these watches as soon as I hit the power button. The Series 4 is literally double its speed as it takes roughly around a minute to power up the Apple Watch while it takes two minutes to power up and fully boot up the Series 3. But when it comes to general use, the daily apps to open, both perform really great. So just making sure that all the background apps are fully closed. Open up simple apps, the Series 4 was always one or two seconds faster. But the Series 3 is still respectfully quick. So it shouldn't really fully ruin the watchOS experience. Even opening up Instagram for an example, both still could do it just fine. But this is where the S4 ship on the Series 4 Apple Watch really does outperform the Series 3 as it was quickly able to load up a web page solely off of Wi-Fi. For those wondering how I was able to get Instagram on my series Apple Watch, you click the little iCard above or click for that link in the video description. I've done a full tutorial on how. So with watchOS 5, the Series 4 and the Series 3 did get some new watch faces, but it's only the Series 4 that got some really good exclusive ones to better fit that new edge-to-edge -edge screen display. like 
Kaleidoscope, and in Infograph, just to name a few. And as of right now, these are the only ones that actually allow you to support a ton of different complications all in one Apple Watch face. And another thing to quickly note, it's only the Series 4 that has the new air quality meter as well as the UV meter. The Series 3, although it has the latest watch OS, this wasn't added to the Series 3 nor the previous Apple Watches. And even in performance when it comes to quickly switching watch faces, the Series 3 tends to lag a little while the Series 4 is fluid when you're scrolling through your different many different watch faces you have. But besides those small nitty gritty stuff, they still do an excellent job when it comes to fitness tracking for the everyday stuff that the average user will ever need. It does a really good job in keeping track of your steps, will notify you if you've been sitting for too long, and will also help encourage you to get off your butt to be more active. Bose Watch of course will congratulate you whenever you complete your rings, and Bose are still equipped with a heart rate monitoring system for a more reliable active calorie burn estimate from your daily run. And if both watches detect that your heart rate suddenly rapidly increases while you're just on idle, the watch will notify you, letting you know that, hey, you might be having some health problems. And we'll keep that data stored for you, for you to review. And if you need to, you can still check your BPM on demand all off your wrist. But it's only the Series 4 that is equipped with the new ECG hardware. This is currently the only smart wearable that's equipped with this and is taking health monitoring to a whole new level. And this data can also be exported to a PDF to show to your doctor. So when it comes to the health side of things, for anybody experiencing health complications, this watch has that and also the fall detection, so maybe Series 4 might be perfect for you. But really, besides the larger screen and the smaller improvements internally, not much has really changed when it comes to the overall Apple Watch design if you minus the curved display. But it's really minor, that from a distance, it's not really that noticeable. But when we look at the speaker, the speaker grill on the Series 4 is larger than the Series 3. So when answering phone calls off your wrist, you're most likely to hear the person just fine on the Series 4. But personally, under daily use, I never really answer my phone calls off my wrist. I always pair them up with AirPods. You could do the same thing on the Series 3. So this isn't really a, a deal breaker in my opinion. Oh, and I, before I forget to mention, for those wondering in the comment section, I know I'm going to get asked a lot. This is an Apple Watch band that I bought off this bundle on Amazon. It's a third party. It's a clone off the Sport Apple Watch bands, but it's it's made out of the same material as this Apple Watch band. Just this little part right here. It's silver instead of black, but I mean, I've been rocking it for a lot, about a month now, and it's been holding up really well, and I think it's really affordable. Around $30 gets you all these different color options to choose from. And uh, if you're looking for a better way to personalize your Apple Watch, definitely look into these bands. They're pretty cool. I'll have a link for where you can get them in the video description for those interested. But back between comparing these two Apple Watches, they both offer the same features. They have Find My Phone. You could quickly view your messages. You could set reminders. You could also play games. And with Watch OS 5, you could connect them both independently to Wi-Fi without having a phone. So you could stream your music or stream podcasts all off the Apple Watch themselves. They have support for Bluetooth, so you could pair them up with third-party Bluetooth headphones or AirPods. They connect a lot more easier. In other words, for daily tasks, daily usage, both of these watches can do a really good job. Although the Series 3 doesn't perform like the Series 4 does, it doesn't ruin the whole watchOS experience. As I mentioned, it's respectfully quick and responsive. Just when compared against the Series 4, it just has a 1 or 2 second delay. So my personal final verdict, I think the best bang for your buck, if, especially if you're on a budget, and all you really want is to be up to date with the latest OS and to be notified for any important message or phone calls you might re be receiving, the Series 3 is definitely a great value, especially now with all these sales going on. The Series 4, however, if you want a bigger screen, which does look a lot more pleasant in my opinion, and it's more easy to view your images as well as read messages off your wrist. But a big selling point has to be the hardware that's inside it. The ECG can definitely be a huge health advantage to somebody who's known to have health conditions, health issues, and such. 
Fall detection is perfect for elderly people or somebody who has a history of injuring themselves and this just gives them a peace, better peace in mind and can definitely become a huge lifesaver. But that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you found this video informative, useful, you know what to do. Be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up as that on lets me know, but that also strongly helps support the channel. But that's enough of me. Let me hear you guys' feedback. Which one of these two watches would you prefer? Are you gonna go ahead and upgrade to the Series 4? Or are you just gonna go ahead and pick up the Series 4 for your very first Apple Watch? I love to hear your feedback as well. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and definitely do subscribe if you enjoy tech videos like this, as I pretty much just like enjoy covering anything tech related. I just enjoy sharing it all with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, subscribe. But as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.